Hey guys, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani here. Today's video is going to be on leaky gut and Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroid issues. We're going to dive into the underlying mechanism. We're going to talk about how most thyroid issues at the underlying root cause are actually autoimmune in nature. And we'll talk about how the gut can affect your immune system. So let's dive in. Before you do that, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell so you can get notifications of future videos and our awesome live Q&A videos too. All right, so off the bat, we have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid gland. That's essentially when we have antibodies that are attacking our thyroid tissue. We have TPO antibodies that may attack the intercellular enzymes in the thyroid gland. We may have thyroglobulin antibodies that are attacking the outer surface proteins of the thyroid. And over time, that gland's going to be stabbed and attacked by all this B cell infiltration. These are parts of the immune system that are coming in and attacking. And that thyroid can spill out, spew out thyroid hormone, which can make us feel even hyper um, off the back because hormone comes out, it gushes out. But then over time, that hormone can be depleted because your thyroid follicle can only hold about maybe three months or so of thyroid hormone. So over time, that autoimmune attack can really deplete that thyroid. And of course, the inflammation in this tissue can affect how thyroid hormones interact at the receptor site level. Every single cell of your body has a receptor site for thyroid hormones, so the more inflammation we have, that can affect how receptor sites and the hormone interact with all this inflammation and antibodies. And of course, as we attack that thyroid gland, we're gonna lose functional tissue, functional aspects of the thyroid gland that are actually producing thyroid hormone. So over time, we may need to actually be on a thyroid hormone replacement. And again, a lot of people may not do well with the conventional thyroid hormone, partly because of the fact that it's missing T3 a lot of times. It's a synthetic T4. A lot of times there can be additives in there, gluten-like cross-reactive molecules or compounds that can exacerbate the immune system. And a lot of times these compounds, they just have T4, so you're not really having the full T4, T3, and then even the other metabolically active components called T2, T1, and T0. So when you give T4, there's an assumption that it's going to go downstream to T3, and that may not happen. Again, check out my Thyroid Reset Summit at thyroidresetsummit.com. I interview 30 amazing experts where we go into a lot of these things, but there's an assumption that T4 goes to T3, and I test patients, I tested thousands over my career, where I would say about 80% don't make that conversion optimally. So they do better with the natural thyroid glandular, some even may need T3. But we need that T4 to T3 conversion. We need to add in that full spectrum glandular that actually has the T3. And we may even want to add in additional nutrients that are going to help with that conversion and activation. Zinc, magnesium, selenium is really important. The major enzyme that's cleaving the iodine molecules off the tyrosine, that which is what thyroid hormone is, T4, tyrosine, four molecules of iodine, and we pull one of those molecules off, that becomes T3. That deiodination, de pulling off that iodine is a selenium-based enzyme. So we need healthy levels of selenium to be able to make that conversion happen. Um, also, other nutrients are really important, like I mentioned zinc, magnesium. CoQ10 is really important for the autoimmune attack. Um, so is magnesium, so is selenium, so is copper, so is vitamin A, really important. Glutathione is also really big and important too because glutathione comes from the liver and when there's liver stress, there tends to also be glutathione stress as well. So we have to address it from all angles, liver, gut, right? And the gut's so important because that's where most of the immune system is. So we come back to the title of the video, which was Leaky Gut and Hashimoto's. Well, most of your immune system's in the gut, in the gut the gastric associated lymphoid tissue, the mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. And when that gut's leaky, we're gonna be activating and calling on our immune system to come and be more active. And essentially foods and bacteria that are slipping through, our immune system will be reacting to those and attacking those. And that can be a big stressor on our immune system and it can wind up our immune system so it can start attacking the thyroid gland as well. So we have to get to the root cause of the leaky gut, which could be food-based. It could be in a combination of poor digestive compounds, poor digestive enzymes, HCL, bile salts, infections could be at play. We know infections wind up the immune system. Infections like H. pylori, or blasto, or Lyme, Borrelia, burgdorferi, uh, Yersinia androcolitica, these infections can in make the gut more leaky, wind up the immune response, and can exacerbate 
the autoimmune attack on the thyroid. So get to the gut, get to the nutrients. Selenium is really important because it calms down the immune system, at least the immune attack in the thyroid. There's a lot of studies showing that selenium can help reduce thyroid antibodies. So can CoQ10 as well. So things that are anti-inflammatory, curcumin, resveratrol, they can calm down some of the immune response and they can help lessen that autoimmune attack. You also have to get to the root cause of the gut underlying issue. So number one, understand the etiology. Number two, if you need thyroid hormone replacements, we may have to come in there, but you need to see a good functional medicine doc that can look at it. Number three, support the nutrients the thyroid needs to make the thyroid hormone, right? Tyrosine. Be careful with iodine that can exacerbate autoimmune attack, vitamin A, zinc, CoQ10, magnesium, right? Really important, a little bit of copper, a good healthy paleo template. Work on the liver, work on the adrenals, which help with that thyroid conversion. Get to the underlying cause of why that gut is leaky. 50 to 90% of thyroid issues are autoimmune in nature, so you really want to make sure you're getting to the root underlying cause cause of why it's there. So head over to thyroidresetsummit.com. If you want to click in deeper with myself and my colleagues that work on these situations, click below, schedule a consult with myself and we can dive in deeper. Hope this information was very helpful. Hit the bell and subscribe. Appreciate it. Leave all comments below. I want to know what you think and I want to engage in a deeper conversation with you on this topic. All right. Thanks a lot. Have an awesome day. Bye now.